this is kind of new, but um, we have some members that come to say hello from other companies. So we've got somebody from the Mexico company here. Um, there's an Australian right there. We get to, to see, you know, our visitors, our, their little messages and how they experience Wicked here on Broadway. Um, so, also, we're on the stage level of um, the Gershwin, and this is the principal hallway. So let's go through here. Um, this happens to be my dressing room, the Elphaba dressing room, and this is where I get ready before every show. Uh, I've not really decorated it yet. It's kind of barren, but um, I do have some stuff up here. I've got a few little gifts that I've gotten from uh, fans along the way. I've gotten so many wonderful things. I really can't uh, keep them all in my room, unfortunately, but I have kept all of them. And I kind of switch them in and out so that, you know, it can change up everything. But uh, yeah, this is where I sit before every show and get green. Um, I always have my uh, little humidifier running. It has a scent, so it always smells like a little spa in here. Today's scent is purification, whatever that means. It smells really nice. Um, so yeah, this is my station. I've got some pictures and messages and cards from um, just friends and family. This is the Squigs picture that just got done, which I love. Carrie, our Glenda printed it out for me, which I will definitely keep forever. I've got a picture of me and my husband at a Christmas party for Wicked a couple years ago. And then of course my baby girl, Jules. She's much older now, that's her Christmas picture. She was about like two and a half months there. But uh, yeah, I get to see them before every show, just kind of you know, bring me back down and, you know, know where I came from and why I'm doing what I love to do and all that good stuff. But here's my makeup. It's kind of cool. The green literally goes on with a paintbrush. Yeah, they dip it in water and then into the green makeup and, you know, buff it all into the skin. It's really not good for your skin, but it looks really good. Um, so yeah, I think we have a couple uh, questions from some of our fans. We do. So, awesome. Jenny, Melissa from Staten Island would like to know, you've played Alphabel for almost a decade. What are a few of your most memorable moments in the show? Oh goodness. So I've had a lot of memorable moments, but I think the one that comes to mind is definitely my Broadway debut. Uh, that was really magical. Because um, that's, you know, what us actors, we work towards and, and hope for. And it was a really special day. And I'll definitely remember it forever but I think other memorable moments that have happened are just the experiences I've had in every company that I've been with because I've made new friends new family and uh, and in all the different cities because you know the show is the same but it is it is kind of different in each place that I've been to so it's it's been very memorable in um, having those making those memories with those people Samuel from Santa Monica writes in, you've played this role in four countries for all kinds of audiences. What's it like to perform on Broadway as opposed to the West End and internationally? Okay, well, it is a little different. Like the stages are all kind of different. Maybe some are a little bit wider or longer. Um, and, you know, some of the pathways obviously are different. So the backstage show is, is always a new learning experience for me. But uh, the biggest difference between here and the West End for me was that I had to sing in a British accent, which was very funny to rehearse. Um, but yeah, I was singing, what is this feeling and uh, defying gravity, which I did actually carry back with me when I came back into the show and I was singing with very hard T's. So I needed to, you know, relearn the show a little bit with that. But. Um, but yeah, there's not really many differences on the stage, per se. Another difference in London is that they do a company warm-up, which I think is really cool. It's a little different getting used to having to get to the theater a little earlier, but you get to see everybody and you get to like do a physical warm-up and a vocal warm-up and kind of check in with people, which is nice, especially for Alphaba because you, know, you don't really have the time to hang out during the show. Eliana from Beachwood, Ohio writes in, what is your favorite part about playing Alphaba? Uh, definitely my favorite part is meeting all the fans uh, after the show. I think it's so incredible how Alphaba and Wicked in general just, you know, speaks to so many people. It inspires people to, to be better versions of themselves and to, you know, fight for what they believe in and stand up for what they believe in, stand up for other people, and to play a role that 
is a leader of change and does that is it's really magical and in every place that I've done it in it it's the same stories that I hear back from other people and it's it's really cool it's really awesome Cameron from Pittsburgh asks are you experiencing the role from a different perspective this time around being a mom yes absolutely being a mom and playing this role is is definitely it's definitely different before when I was playing this role I had you know plenty of time to sleep and now I I sleep still but not as much um, so it's definitely taken some getting used to but more importantly I think that this big huge life change for me has helped me see things differently um, just like every life change that's happened over the last 10 years I got married you know and I uh, traveled all over the world and had all of these big experiences which has I hope has made me a better performer um, but yeah having Jules was big and huge and it's so great to be back and be a working mom uh, I think the last one for now Julian Hillsborough writes in how do you prep for each performance and do you have any pre-show rituals so the prep is pretty normal I do a vocal warm-up and I uh, obviously I sit and get my makeup done and hang out with um, the people that kind of come through my dressing room I keep my door open always just so like anybody that passes by I can say hey to um, but I also I sing in the hallway like I told you and then I like high-five all the crew guys as I get on stage uh, which you'll see soon and um, I kiss my hand and I touch the stage and take a big breath and you know hope for a great show and everybody to be safe and you know and then we then we move forward so let's go and see the stage okay well let's look at my costumes first <gasps> oh she's so pretty this one is actually new and they're all individual to each alphabet which is so cool um, all the same fabrics are used obviously but they're all a little different so the details and like the colors are all a little different but Susan Hilferty really outdid herself with this one it's like a couture gown it's wearing like couture during the show it's pretty cool all right so we're gonna walk down the principal hallway that's a Glinda dressing room and as you can see this hallway is filled with beautiful quilts this these are made by our dresser Michael who dresses Fierro and um, yeah, he does some beautiful work. It's awesome. Fun little fact, this actually used to be the door to the alphabet dressing room, but it's covered now because it's a wall. <laughs> they extended, they did some remodeling out in the uh, house, and so they needed to move the dressing room, so Alphaba moved down the hallway. But this is here so we don't, you know, run into the wall. <laughs> here we've got our call board. So you got rehearsal schedule, kind of what's going on in the show, our birthday list. We've got a little pocket here for our um, envelopes for our paychecks. Uh, we recycle everything here at Wicked. We do as much as we can, and this is just one of the very many things we do to keep our environment safe and healthy. Um, so yeah, so we're on stage right here. This is where the principal hallway leads to. And watch your steps. Um, this is actually the stairwell we run up to go down the stairs out downstage right. I do that twice during the show, which, you know, it's a good workout. It's a good workout here. Um, so here we are on stage. So as you can see, we've got a lot of set pieces hanging up in the air. Um, we're actually very lucky here at the Gershwin because our backstage is quite big compared to other Broadway places. Um, but yeah, so our crew guys kind of raise and lower them during the show. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big, it's like a big backstage show here because um, we have to keep everybody safe and you know, obviously these have to come down when nobody's below them. <laughs> so over here we have our stage right props wall some cool stuff over here we've got props kind of scattered around the theater but this is the main one of the main ones here's the, one of the grimmeries Ooh. it's actually kind of green everything that alphabet touches is slightly tinted green which is kind of funny but yeah this is actually sheet music from uh, the governor's mansion but um it's kind of cool turn the page um, I think there's actually a few of these just in case, you know, you never know. Um, we also have some of the uh, Dancing Through Life books. These are fun. I don't use one, but the Shiz students do, and they, they do their bookography with it. That's what we call it. 
And there are also some wooden slats inside, which is kind of cool, so that when you shut it, it makes a nice loud sound. Um, so they shut up to like the beats of the song, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, so we've got a bunch of little books. We've got Madame Marble's clipboard, which is kind of cool. Some Ricola's back there, just in case you know you have a little, a little cough. So let's go across the stage. So here we are. This is the setup that the stage is in before the show starts. So the bubble is ready to come down and get Glinda in. Uh, and this is our bridge here that comes down a few times in the show. Um, our crew is amazing here and they check everything before every single show to make sure that you know everything's working properly and that it's all safe and um, yeah because that's the number one thing we got to stay safe right so as we walk across the stage you'll kind of you probably can't see this on camera but we have a rake stage we're like leaning downwards a little bit um, yeah it's pretty crazy but uh, yeah it's um, kind of like hard to tell when you're on here but you know you can kind of tell maybe like two months into your run that it is raised because you can kind of feel it in, in the lower back but it's okay it's very slight um, so here's the Gershwin there's over 1900 seats in this theater which is huge and from where you're standing I bet you can tell that there's really not a bad seat in the house it really isn't and as a as a cast member, you can see every seat out here. I mean, when there's lights and stuff, you can't see faces, but you can really, I mean, you can only imagine how incredible and special this is when you're out here. It is pretty cool. There's Oswald, our dragon, Ozzy, he's our friend. Okay, so let's go across to stage left. Um, so we've got another prop booth over here, and uh, just a few more things over here. And here's some our Nessa wheelchairs here. We've got our green elixir, which I just learned recently is green mouthwash. Can you believe that? I had no idea. Green mouthwash and a green glow stick. Um, and it's actually specific, a specific kind of green mouthwash so that it's like the right color green. Isn't that crazy? So cool. Yeah, we've got the wands and our fire torches, some more books, of course. Gotta have extras of everything just in case things break. Our suitcases are actually, um, they're like reinforced because here's Glinda's uh, luggage. She's got a luggage cart. I bring one suitcase with me, but I throw it a few times and it's it's gotta be reinforced inside so that it doesn't break, which is kind of crazy. Um, so let's go down these steps. Should we go over there? Yeah. So we can see a broom, mine. This is my fight broom. This is the one I get to throw a bunch, which is, you know, it's pretty hefty, but it doesn't break. That's why it's the fight broom. It's reinforced in some way, I'm not sure, but yeah. It's pretty, uh, it's lighter too, I think, than my flying broom, which is cool. These are some witch hunter props as well that our cast members use as they hunt me. Uh -huh. Um, okay, cool. So these are also some stairs back here that you never really get to see, but before Defying Gravity and before No Good Deed, Elphaba runs down these babies to get to the other side of the stage, which is pretty crazy. We hit that wall and that's why there's a big green spot over there. But it's safe. We've got people down and above to help us out. And down there also is our big buckets of dry ice which we actually use 500 pounds per show, which is crazy, that's two tons per week. Not a lot, our smoke looks amazing though, so that's good. Um, so we've got some quick changes here, all set up because we're about to do a show, we're about to do a matinee. So as you can see, like our dressers have them all set up for us, and ready to go. Um, so let's go to our other stairwell, which we like to call our alumni Shiz University graduate wall. Um, but as you can see along the wall are all the names of cast, cast members that have come through our doors and have graduated. Oh look, there's Rachel Tucker. You guys will be seeing her very, very soon. Um, so yeah, so everybody that comes through gets to get their name up on the wall and the date that they leave. Uh, and I've been up here a few times. 
Here, there's one right there. There's another down there somewhere. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So, so yeah, so this is pretty special. It's like kind of walking down memory lane. It's a big, huge hallway of names that have come through our wonderful company. But um, yes, we would like to wish Wicked London the most wonderful 10 year anniversary. Love you guys so much. Love you, Rachel. And we've got a few cast members that want to say hello. Say hi. We love you. <laughs> Please tune in to Wicked UK's Facebook page for Rachel's live backstage tour. It's been so lovely seeing you guys.